Hey, Comic Brook. Hey, Agatha. Hey, Scrape Goat. Hey, Kelly. Love the title. Yep. Good to have you here, Comic Brook. Hey, Girl Face. Good to see you. Again, it's birthday tomorrow. Yeah, I think she mentioned it. It's Jenna's birthday, but it's also a, an hour life stream. <laughs> hey, Massa Jen. Hey, Jenna. Jenna, I have to, okay, I have to ask this, Jenna. Were you stoned today? I feel like you might have been stoned earlier. Just had a lot to say. <laughs> Indeed she did. She had a lot to say. <laughs> Swarthy, I forgot you weren't live. <laughs> like, all those comments and then I forgot you weren't <laughs> I forgot you weren't live. Two energy drinks, Ms. Ever. Okay. Two energy drinks is uh about the same as being stoned. Okay. It gives high energy. Want me to know you're thinking about me? Hey Carl Sagan's boner. <laughs> Jenna got off the rails with one of them. Yeah, it's just so many comments. I mean, like the the best moment was right. The best moment was right at the beginning. You know, the best moment was right at the beginning with the comment about white broccoli and Jordan responding, "It's cauliflower, Jenna." <laughs> hey, kitty charms. That was my favorite uh, moment of that whole thing. I'm okay, kitty terms. How are you doing? How much for didn't do? Hot in Arizona. Hey, trailer. Hey, Arjun. Kitty terms. I think it's kind. Of, it's kind of hot in a lot of places right now. Uh, Giddy germs. Uh, hey, Cindy. Yeah, hot in a lot of places with the fires. The fire is making a lot of places rather hot. Yes, the air quality. 
Um, here, I think not overly bad today. Even so, my mom came over today and she got sort of left out of breath just coming from cab to the door. So, air quality alert all the way in Kentucky. Yep. Yeah, I don't think we've got an official alert for the air quality right now. But, yeah. It's just wild to me. Like air quality alerts in Southern Ontario, like we haven't had something like that since fucking Dontar was active. At my parents, can my dad goat get a shout out? Shout out to dad goat. Apparently. That's the air quantity. <laughs> hey, Farrell. Air quantity. Papa goat. Yeah, and it just it's wild. Any complaints, my roommate? No. Nah. Hey, Sarah No, nah, no complaints. Hey, Barbara. By the way, I did just have feelers for dinner, so if I fall asleep in the middle of the stream, uh, it's because I'm really, really full. Over eight, so now I'm tired. Now I need a nap. Hey, he's done fine. Accidentally studied for white chocolate trivia. Uh, it's a restaurant called Filos. Uh, I had the uh, chicken au gratin. Just chicken with uh, broccoli and mushrooms and covered in cheese. Orange called Rears of the Kingdom? Yes. I I think that now, Comic Brook. 60 seconds ago, I did not think that. Now I think they should. Hey, Vanna. Is it delicious? It is good. I, I pick off the mushrooms. Like, I take off the mushrooms because I hate mushrooms. But... Chicken breast, bacon, cheese. Yep, good. Happy weekend. Thanks, Jenna. You love mushrooms? I hate them. The flavor, the texture. God, they have the worst texture. It's like eating rubber. Hey, kitty. Broccoli pizza. How many lights to the center of a traffic cone? Trap. Wait. I was going to say, aren't traffic cones uh, hollow? But it depends on the traffic cone. Some traffic cones do have the hole in the top. Some have the uh, the rounded tops. Mushrooms are freakish little treasures. They are. Fungi are like fungi are fascinating. 
but they taste gross. You know, scientifically fascinating, but just gross to eat. Slime molds, I wouldn't recommend it. AI just waiting for a vessel. Make them delicious. Make them taste yummy and so anyways. I will continue to not eat them. I will just continue to not eat mushrooms ever. For as long as I live. Hey, Kelly. Dead man's fingers appear in my yard. So cool. Neat. All right. Looks like we're up to a couple dozen people, so... I suppose we could get started on the uh, popsicles. I don't really get pop. I don't really buy popsicles anymore. So yeah, we may as well get started on the. Uh, never seen mushrooms the same at the last of us bear. So yeah, let's get started on the uh... let's get started on the trivia. Uh, let's start with vegetable trivia. What is the name of this vegetable? <laughs> hey, Jordan. There, I know, yeah. Uh, that's a better. That looks works a bit better. Yeah, what's the name of this vegetable? So, I'm not actually going to do the Hey, Lady MK. Throat was burning and did I just sluggish? Yeah. Yeah, that's rough, Lady MK. Anyway, yeah. I'm, I'm not actually going to do that quiz where it's like, look at a picture of a vegetable and say what it is. But hey, I'm going to start with a, I'm going to start with a vegetable uh, trivia. Going to start with a vegetable quiz. So question one. I have many skins and I'm guaranteed to make you cry. And it doesn't actually give options. This one you just have to type in the answer. Eight vegetables. I know. Cheese quiz. I'll do that. I'll do I'll do uh, cheese next part. Onion, yes. Hey, Fernanda. Number two. I come in many different co colors and can be sweet or fiery hot. Uh, 
They come in many different colors and can be sweet or fiery hot. Peppers, lots of people saying peppers, under dominatrixes. Candy, strawberries, capsicum. Uh, number three, and yes, peppers, obviously. I'm good in coleslaw and have dolls named after me. I'm good in coleslaw and have dolls named after me. Mayonnaise, Koopy. Nothing's good in coleslaw. I like coleslaw. I like coleslaw myself. Yes, cabbage. Made a bomb coleslaw tonight. Nice. I remember my mom made a homemade coleslaw once a few years back. Only the one time. It was really good. Never had coleslaw. I like it. I like it. Uh, question four. Looks goopy. Uh, it depends, trailer. You can get it, like, you can get it, there's way, there's a lot of different ways of preparing coleslaw. You can get goopy coleslaw, you can get crunchy coleslaw. I do tend to prefer the traditional, the crunchy coleslaw. But fresh slaw is fire, add onion and red peppers. Uh, anyway, question four. Boil me, mash me, roast me, chip me. If it ain't crunchy, it wasn't prepared for weasels. Mashed weasels? Questions are too easy. The next one, might it might get tougher from here. It might be getting a bit tougher from here. And yes. Potatoes. Potato. So this one, I don't know. This one, I did not know the answer to. I'm also known as Ladies Fingers, Gombo, Baby, and Queebo. Also known as Ladies Fingers, Gombo, Baby, and Queebo. Uh, options here, uh, okra, kohlrabi, chicory, or Jerusalem artichoke. Tiramisu. Okra, kohlrabi, chicory, Jerusalem artichoke. You were just complaining about it being too easy, Comic Rook. The answer is okra. Okra is known as ladies' fingers. And then the other ones are just different languages. 
What was the question? Uh, the question, Jordan, was uh, it's also known as Ladies' Fingers, Gombo, Bami, and Quiabo. Uh, question six. I'm the Welsh national emblem. Okra is everyone's middle name. Luscious Jackson? I do not remember Luscious Jackson. That is not something I have any memory of. So yeah, the Welsh national anthem, or emblem. Nash Welsh national emblem. Beetroot, turnip, carrot, leek. Beetroot, turnip, carrot, or leek. The Welsh national emblem. Beans on toast. That's more English. Beats Bears Battlestar Galactica. Oh my. The answer is leek. The leek is the Welsh national emblem. My na my Latin names are Brassica oleracea or Brassica gemmerf gemmifera. And in some countries, I'm eaten with a traditional Christmas dinner. Cauliflower, turnip, broccoli, or Brussels sprout. What is my Latin, Latin name? Trailerus swiftus? Uh, yeah, so Latin names are Brassica oleras uh, oleracea or Brasca gemifera, and in some countries, I'm eaten with a traditional Christmas dinner. Cauliflower, turnip, broccoli, or Brussels sprout. And, uh, yeah, Kitty Charms and Fernanda got it. It is Brussels sprout. Uh, I'm usually seen with Bugs Bunny or any other famous rabbit. That was an easy one. Eh, what's up, Doc? Hey, nice thinker. Gun. He shot some for coffee. You know what's weird? What is what is a maroon? You know, like whatever, like in that, like yeah, he would all, like he would call. Maroompa. So, like, in the old Bugs Bunny cartoons, when, like, when Elmer was hunting him, you know, Bugs was like, 
<laughs> what a Nimrod. What a maroon. Nimrod was a reference to the famous biblical hunter. But like when Bugs Bunny calls Elmer Fudd a maroon, Moron, but rabbit. I mean, that was my guess, like, that it's sort of like a weird, a weird mispronunciation of moron. Hey, Cindy. Uh, Taylor, Taylor Swift is not someone I listen to. Because, yeah, like, it's, is that is it like maybe, but it's like we don't know the actual etymology of that one. Like I don't think, like I don't think that's something where. There's recorded usage of it in that sense before Bugs Bunny. So it's just like a really weird thing for him to say. 40s gangster humor? Maybe? Maybe? Made up slang? Maybe. Uh, anyway, continuing the quiz. Question nine. My Latin name is Helianthus tuberosus, and I am a member of the sunflower family. Jerusalem artichoke, parsnip, turnip, or kohlrabi? Helianthus tuberosus, member of the sunflower family. Jerusalem artichoke, parsnip, turnip, kohlrabi. Summer sausage. The answer is the Jerusalem artichoke. It is the Jerusalem artichoke is a member of the sunflower family. And last question in this trivia quiz. Last question in this quiz. Kind words do not butter me. Parsnip, spinach, potato, or courgette. Kind words do not butter me. Parsnip, spinach, potato, courgette. Potato, onion, it's a cool fact. Facts are cool, honeybee. Spinach, parsnips, what the hell are you saying? Apparently, it's a saying. Kind words do not butter X. I've never heard that expression in my life. Kind words, butter, no blank. Kind words, butter, no blank. I've never heard that expression. Apparently, parsnips. Kind words, butter, no parsnips. Eighteen hundred PS. Kind of sounds like it. Oh, actually, they got it wrong. Fine words. It's actually fine words. Better butter, no parsnips. Fine words, butter, no parsnips. 
basically means uh, nothing concrete is achieved by empty words or flattery. Pop culture? Uh, not yet, Cindy. Um, I promised that we would do a cheese quiz. So I was finding uh Yeah, this is uh Yeah, for for uh hey Frida. Litter boxes, cleaning bathroom to dishes, swept them off the kitchen and made by bed. Jesus Christ. Any one of those things would leave me like wiped out and not ready to do anything for the rest of the week. Hey, take another. So, cheese quiz. All right. Gouda is pronounced Huda. I did not know that. Still think it's a joke. Sounds like it to me. Cindy, uh, right now I still use he, him pronouns. Hey, Keister. May I have a slice of that English cheese that contains a distinctly colored fungus and is produced only in Derbyshire, Leicestershire, and Nottinghamshire? Okay, can I just say, English place names are fucking made up. English fake names are fake. Like, English place names are so goddamn fake. Derbyshire... Leicestershire and Nottinghamshire from pasteurized local milk. Uh, the answers are Blue Stilton, Edom, Cheddar, and Devon Blue. Thanks, Cindy. You too. These nuts, sure, yeah. Everything's I know Jordan, but like English place names are especially fake. So yeah, English cheese that contains a distinctly colored fungus. Uh blue stilton, Edem, cheddar, or Devon Blue. Yeah, then definitely happy Pride, Cindy.
The answer is actually Blue Stilton. Blue Stilton cheese. What is the answer? I answered like two minutes ago. Your mom. That's the answer. Take another. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Take another. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, at my request of cheese, please, a smiling waiter presents me with a saucer containing sage derby cheese. As I looked at this mild, mottled green cheese, ew, I wondered which animal produced the milk for it. Which animal is it? Goat, sheep, buffalo, or cow? Sage Derby cheese. Uh, mild, mottled green cheese. Is it goat, sheep, buffalo, or cow? Thanks, Cindy. Hey, honeybee. Hey, Zach. Hey, honeybun. Honestly, Cindy, like, the problem with transitioning that I'm running into is, first of all, getting off my ass and actually looking into it. But also, it's going to be really hard for me to do while I'm in Cornwall, just because there's not a lot of, uh, I don't know if there's anywhere in Cornwall I can go for that. So I need to look into that. Uh, anyway, cow. Apparently, sage derby cheese comes from cow milk. Uh, three. Which of these is a soft cheese made from cow's milk? Brie? Buyer, briar, beer. Still present as more androgynous in the meantime. Eh. I am lazy, Frida. I am still lazy. Okay. Soft cheese made from cow's milk. Brie, buyer, briar, beer. The answer is Brie. It is Brie. Why do you steal the name Cornwall if it's a redundant? I don't know. I wasn't around. I wasn't around at the time. I had no say in the decision. Uh, question four. Kashkaval is a type of cheese that is made from cow milk or milk from another animal. Uh, which other animal's milk is used in the production of this semi-hard semi cheese? <laughs> semi-hard. Much money for a rain on me, karaoke. One million dollars. Uh, anyway, cash cabal. Made from cow milk or another uh, animal. Semi-hard cheese. <laughs> Semi-hard. <laughs> um, horse, goat, sheep, or reindeer. Horse, goat, sheep, or reindeer. Uh, I have not tried making cheese from human milk, but I've never tried making cheese in general.
Breast milk tastes sweet. I'll take your word on that. Kashkaval. Horse, goat, sheep, or reindeer. Why am I drinking water and not milk? Because I like water. I prefer water over milk. Answer is sheep. It is sheep. Do not like milk? No, I don't like milk. This cheese is a table cheese that has a smooth texture. It is used for snacks and as a spread. Its name sounds like a place. Brussels, Brunei, Bahamas, or Bourbon. Table cheese with a smooth texture, used for snacks and as a spread. Brussels, Brunei, Bahamas, or bourbon. Better to shred up a bunch of cheese and throw a salad dressing on it, but that qualifies a salad. No. That would not qualify as a salad. Oh, give me a second. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing a trivia night quiz. Oh, I'm good at trivia. All right. I'm doing tri cheese trivia right now. Oh. Uh, this cheese is a table cheese that has a smooth texture. It is used for snacks and as a spread. Its name sounds like a place. Philadelphia. No. Brussels, Brunei, Bahamas, or Bourbon. Philadelphia isn't a cheese. That's a spread. Oh, you said a spread. Yeah, but I mean, it's not a cheese. So it's Brussels? Brussels, Brunei, Bahamas, or Bourbon. Brunei. Brussels, actually. Well, that was so good. much for being good at trivia. That was my first guess. So much for being good at trivia. No good at cheese. <laughs> Okay. Okay, darling. Talk to you later. Yeah. Yeah, you need to come down more yeah. often on your days off. Yeah, I'll try. Hopefully the air quality improves so that it's possible to walk down. It's possible to walk down. I mean, some days, some days it's highly recommended not to walk. Oh, you don't need excuses to stay home. I'm just saying, like, oh, yeah, there's been a couple days been, where it's been like, don't leave the house. Dave said it really bothered yeah. him this morning. Yeah. Okay. Right. Take care, sweet. Yeah, talk to you later. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> anyway, yes, my mom is very, my mom is sweet. Thank you very much. Yes, that was my mom. She, uh, we had dinner and then she was visiting with uh, her friends downstairs. So, uh, I helped her with a couple. Like, I helped her with some uh, stuff on her computer. She needed help with something, with some uh, documents that she needed to send off somewhere. And then I, uh, and then we went out for dinner. And then she was just visiting with uh, her friend, her friends, who I live with. Hey, Jenna.
Anyway, yeah, the answer to the question was Brussels. Brussels cheese. Uh, true or false to my last name? I mean, my last name is not super Scottish. Her maiden name is. Her maiden name is very Scottish. Water slide home. Uh, true or false? Cream cheese is a soft cheese that should never be consumed fresh. Cream cheese is a soft cheese that should never be consumed fresh. Anyone else sipping on some adult beverages? I'm having an espresso martini? I don't think I've ever heard of an espresso martini. Never not called it espresso. Uh, so the answer is false. Apparently cream cheese can be consumed fresh. The perfect high on weed. Uh, I am a fresh pulled curd cheese made from the milk of water buffaloes or cows. Which cheese am I? Fresh pulled curd cheese made from the milk of water buffaloes or cows. Cheddar, manchego, cotija, or mozzarella? Cheddar, manchego, cotija, or mozzarella? And yes, it is mozzarella. Laurel just loves this cheese, which is made from a combination of sheep and goat milk. Feta, Emmental, Asiago, or Monterey Jack. Uh, this cheese, which is made from a combination of sheep and goat milk. Mozzarella. Cheese made from a combination of sheep and goat milk. Feta, Emmental, Asiago, or Monterey Jack. Scared of the cheese questions? Only a couple more to go, Jenna. We're almost out of the... Uh... We're almost out of the cheese questions. Hey, JJ. Uh, the answer is feta. It is feta cheese, feta cheese. The answer is feta cheese. True or false? Sheva is, uh, is a cheese that is made solely from cow milk. Chevre is cheese that is made solely from cow milk. Chevre. Chevre. 
Chef. Chef. Anyway, it's false. And the last cheese question. We're done with the cheese questions. One last cheese question. We're done. We've reached the end of the cheese questions. Roquefort is a really delicious cheese dotted with pockets of blue mold. Mmm, yum, mold. Uh, anyway, Roquefort is uh, a really delicious cheese dotted with pockets of blue mold. Which animal provides milk for the production of this cheese? Sheep, water buffalo, goat, or reindeer? Roquefort. Roquefort? Roquefort? Sheep, water buffalo, goat, or reindeer? The answer is sheep. It is sheep. All right. Can a weasel be milked? Sure, JJ, it could be. Weasel is a mammal, so it produces milk. So technically it could be milked. It's just, it's just not going to produce a lot of milk because it's small. So in theory, you could milk it. It's just there's no point. Hey, Bugsy. What do you have for supper? I had Fila's. Weasel cheese would be super expensive. Probably, JJ. How many weasels to make a gallon? Not Kelsey's, no. Felix. Hey, Frogger. I am live, Jenna. Does why I'm able to respond to your comments in real time? Why don't we milk more things? I mean, because it's, there's only certain animals that it's worth milking. I've been okay, Frogger. Um, all right, next question, uh, next category. Any preferences for category? Milk me like a French maid. Any preferences on a category? Any, anything, any, any category we want, anybody wants to do. Potatoes, <laughs> potato trivia, movies, pop culture. All right, so yeah, we'll do some movie trivia. We'll do a few movie. Uh, right, we'll do a few movie trivia. And then, eh, memes. Memes. It's hard because a lot of memes are images, and it's hard to show the images. I can try. I can try uh, some meme trivia after this. 
But uh, first we'll do a handful of, uh, we'll do a dozen or so movie trivia questions. Got a dog. Ooh, congratulations, JJ. Uh, all right. Who played Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate? Who played Mrs. Robinson in The Graduate? Martha Stewart. Lisa LaFlam. Hey, Moonlight. I'm a meme. Your mom's a meme. The answer, as Keefster said, is Anne Bancroft. In The Matrix, does Neo take the blue pill or the red pill? Blue pill or red pill? Um, yes, it was red. He took the red pill. E color purple. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good question. For real cinema buffs. What 1927 musical was the first talkie? What 1927 musical was the first talkie? Cat. Now the uh, they didn't come out with the cat's version. Uh, cat's version, uh, or they didn't come out with the movie version of Cats until 2019. Singing in the rain. That one came much later. Music Man, nope. Starlight Express, nope. I love the old Cats musical. I never watched it on stage. I just watched the uh, the movie version of it, which was uh, weird, and yet I had and yet I did absolutely enjoy it. Uh, and Moonlight did get it. The jazz singer. It is the jazz singer. What's jazz? Yes, JJ, like the music genre. What's here's another one for uh, here's another one for cinema buffs. Uh, thanks, Jenna. What's the name of the skyscraper? in Die Hard. What's the name of the skyscraper in Die Hard? Die Tall Skyscraper? The Rock. Uh, Keithster got it. It is Nakatomi Plaza. Uh, 
what critically panned 1984 country musical comedy starring Dolly Parton and Sylvester Stallone eventually became a cult classic? Hey, Beverly. What critically panned 1984 country musical comedy starring Dolly Parton and Sylvester Stallone eventually became a cult classic? Hey, Beverly. Not 9 to 5. 9 to 5 was not critically panned. And also, I don't think had... I don't think that one had Stallone in it. So it is not 9 to 5. Because I don't think, yeah, nine, 9 to 5 was uh, was not critically panned, as far as I know. Cowbells. Hannah Montana movie. Don't think that one had Stallone either. Uh, rhinestone. Answer is Rhinestone. Not rhinestone cowboy, just rhinestone. What's the name of the anthemic dance near the beginning of the Rocky Horror Picture Show? Ryan Stallone. <laughs> nice. Yeah. What's the name of the anthemic dance near the beginning of the Rocky Horror Picture Show? These are hard questions. It's tougher not having clues, Beverly. Like, I think that's what makes it tougher is not having the clues. Is that last night in London? I wouldn't mind going to a uh, live showing of uh, Rocky Horror. Say it again. Uh, what's the name of the anthemic dance near the beginning of the Rocky Horror Picture Show? I guess the answer is the time warp. Which is very easy to do. It's just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. Such a good song. Uh, for what movie? No, I'm not doing the dance. I'm not doing the dance, Jordan. Can I sing Goodbye Stranger? Nope. I don't sing. Uh, let's see. No. It's easy, but I'm not doing it. Uh, for what movie... Did Steven Spielberg win his first Oscar for Best Director? Never home anymore, Dad. For what movie did Steven Spielberg win his first Oscar for Best Director? The answer is Schindler's List, when the weasel sings. It is Schindler's List. Marlon Brando could have been a contender in what iconic 1954 crime drama?
Marlon Brando could have been a contender in what iconic 1954 crime drama? Not Raging Bull. Raging Bull was 70s, as I believe. I believe Raging Bull came out in the 70s. There, bud. Island or damn it, Jordan. Uh, the answer is on the waterfront. Uh, this should be an easy one. Uh, what Hollywood movie star plays himself? in Zombieland. Hey, Flipstick Queen. Your mom. Yeah, what Hollywood movie star plays himself in Zombieland? The answer is, of course, Bill Murray. Who is the only actor to receive an Oscar nomination for acting in a Lord of the Rings movie? Who is the only actor to receive an Oscar nomination for acting in a Lord of the Rings movie? Weasel DiCaprio. DiCaprio wasn't in Lord of the Rings. He couldn't do the accent. The old guy. Ian McKellen. Sir Ian McKellen. Uh, for which 1964 musical blockbuster did Julie Andrews win the Academy Award for Best Actress? For which 1964 musical blockbuster did Julie Andrews win the Academy Award for Best Actress? Not Sound of Music. It is not Sound of Music. It is, in fact, Weasel Poppins. Mary Poppins. Uh, what is the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time? What is the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time? Two girls, one cup. Hey, Jerry.
I'll give you a hint. It's a movie I will never watch. It's a movie I have not watched. A movie I have absolutely no desire at all to watch. No matter how much one of my viewers begs me to watch it. I forget who it is who always bugs me to watch it, and I keep saying no. It's Joker. Joker is the highest gross, uh, grossing R-rated movie. <sighs> what 1994 crime film revitalized John Travolta's career? Briefly. What 1994 crime film revitalized John Travolta's career until he blew it away on Battlefield Earth? Uh, yeah, Pulp Fiction. Answer is Pulp Fiction. Made him a star again, and then he did Battlefield Earth. Pulp Weasels, that's correct. Battlefield Earth was so bad. I mean, it's a movie about Scientology. It's a movie about the nonsense that Scientologists believe, but played straight. Why does love always feel like a battlefield? Uh, which movie? Uh, which movie was incorrectly announced as the winner of Best Picture at the 2017 Academy Awards in one of the greatest Oscars flubs of all time? Now, Moon Something is what won Jenna. Moonlighting, uh, Moonlight was the movie that actually won. This is the one that didn't win, but was uh, incorrectly announced as the winner. Uh, the answer is La La Land. La La Land was incorrectly announced as the winner. All right, one more uh, movie question. One more movie question, and then I'll move on to try memes. Is Comic Brook even still here? You still here, Comic Brook? Hey. Hey, Anunnaki. We announced it? I don't remember. Who cares? Some dumbass who couldn't read. Uh, so yeah, last movie question. Well, nobody's perfect is the final line and punchline from what classic 1959 comedy starring Marilyn Monroe? Well, nobody's perfect. Final line and punchline from what classic 1959 comedy starring Marilyn Monroe? Monroe. Sound like a thought. Lisa Prick.
Looks like my mom forgot her dessert here. Uh, anyway, yeah, the answer is uh, some like it hot. At what age was I potty trained? Uh, what year is it now? I'll uh, I'll let you know when it happens, Jordan. I'll have to get back to you on that one, Weasel Jenna. Uh, congratulations, Jenna. Applaud Jenna's uh, potty training. I like it. No, no, I'll I'll run it over to her tomorrow. Uh, all right. So, meme trivia. A popular meme features what green Muppet drinking a glass of tea? Popular mu uh, meme features what Muppet drinking a glass of tea? No, color purple. I'll be, I'll run it over to her tomorrow. And yes, Kermit the Frog. According to the Sesame Street Twitter account, what character is always three and a half, even on his birthday? Canada. Uh... I will be working Canada Day. And I will be working Monday. Uh, and yeah, the answer is Elmo. Elmo is always three and a half. Uh, diamond half, yeah. Because of its reputation for having a sturdy model from what cell phone company spawned a series of memes about its indestructibility? It is Nokia, the Nokia 3310. Used to express futility, a famous meme featured a digger trying to rescue the Evan give, ever given cargo ship from which canal? Used to express futility, a meme featured a digger trying to rescue the ever given cargo ship from which canal? Weasel day.
And yes, the Suez Canal. Uh, the Ice Bucket Challenge uh, promoted awareness of which disease? You're whelmed, Diesel Jenna. Yeah, the Ice Bucket Challenge was to raise awareness of which disease? Cold. Maybe it should have been to raise awareness of colds, yes. ALS. Hey, Ravishing. Often used to, to express defiance, one popular meme shows Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast member Taylor Armstrong crying, pointing, and yelling at what animal? You hear the hum of my computer in your sleep now? Yep. Uh, one popular meme shows... Uh, some lady crying, pointing, and yelling at what animal? Uh, there is one person who's gotten it right, who's gotten the correct answer so far. The answer is the cat. It is a cat. What goes pop? Your mom, when I bang her. I don't know why she would pop when I bang her. I don't know why she would be going pop. Uh, a meme expressing nerdy surprise features a teenage girl saying Ermagerd while holding books from what children's horror franchise? The Ermagerd girl. What books was she holding? Ermagerd! Bless that poor girl, she never lived a normal life since. There's burps. The Zelda CDI game? I don't know if you could even find that thing, Zach. Like, I wouldn't even know where to find it. But no. No, I will not be playing the Zelda CDI game. Um, anyway, yeah, the answer is Goosebumps. Ermagerd girl, girl was holding Goosebumps books. Uh, even SNL spoofed an early 2022 meme about the Sesame Street feud between Elmo and who? Who did Elmo beef with? You 
Not Big Bird, no. No, Elmo and Big Bird are, are cool. They're cool with each other. You yeah, know, they're good. They're fun. It's not Big Bird, no. Elmo would never beef with Big Bird. No one beefs with uh, Big Bird. Yeah. Feud between Elmo and who? Not Oscar, no. Not Oscar. Uh, not Grover. Not the girl, honeybee. It's not the girl. It's not Zoe. It's not Zoe that he feuded with. It's the one who took his damn oatmeal raisin cookie. Hey, any interest? It's Rocco. Rocco. I mean, oatmeal raisins are his oatmeal raisin is his favorite cookie, Jordan. Who? Rocco. Zoe's pet rock. Zoe has a pet. Zoe, one of the characters, has a pet rock named Rocco. I remember this. I mean, it's. He was. Elmo was so angry. Help! How is Rocco going to eat that cookie? Zoe, tell Elmo. And they just. He hated that rock. He hated that rock so much. Uh, tickle me. Oh, I remember Tickle Me, Tickle Me Elmo, Zach. I remember the Tickle Me Elmo, uh, the brawls. Like, the fights in the stores over Tickle Me Elmo's. Just ridiculous. Getting beat up over Elmo? I know. Can I sleep or am I going to miss a lot? I mean, it's just trivia, Jenna. You'll miss trivia. Trivia's it. Burger Beard, also known as Painty the Pirate, sings the theme song to what long-running and frequently memeable animated TV series? 
Burger Beard, also known as Painty the Pirate, sings the theme song to what long-running and frequently memeable animated TV series. You want to make me laugh, Jenna? No, I won't say anything mean. I'm not going to say anything mean. <laughs> Who's there, Jenna? Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock, knock. Who's there? Don't open the door. Restraining order. <laughs> cat. Cat who? Cat who, Jenna? Cat who? Like broccoli. Cat dog. Hey, Jenna. It certainly is you, Jenna. It certainly is. Uh, the use of, anyway, continuing the quiz. Should we continue the trivia? Love that you committed to two weeks of Weasel Jenna. Yep. At least two weeks of Weasel Jenna. I mean, it depends on whether she continues to be Weasel Jenna after. Why did I put a case on my phone? I do have a case on my phone. This is a case. It's a heavy-duty case. It's a, like, it's a thick case. It's... I've thrown my phone and uh, and the the case itself like doesn't even get dinged. Yeah. Didn't buy a case for my new iPhone yet. I hope Weasel Jenna never ends. All right, good night, Jenna. Check the engine. <laughs> the, like, it's, you can see the key. It's like the, it's what I'm holding. Give her a bedtime story. Once upon a time, there was a knock on the door. That's that that story sucked. Was I throwing my phone? Anger, alien tourist, I got angry. Who knocked? Weasel Jenna knocked. And she knocked, and she knocked, and she knocked, and she knocked. And people tried to ask who was at the door, but she just kept knocking. Until finally people stopped, until finally the people just stopped asking who was there. And then Jenna left and went to bed. The end. <laughs> <laughs> In
instant classic. Like how it's based on a true story. Weasel bumps. Irma goat. Weasel bumps or goose weasels. Either one works. Fuck a goose. No, those things are nasty. Don't fuck geese. Don't fuck with geese. They will fuck you up. It's illegal. For your own protection trailer, a goose will fuck you up. Best off if you stick with a goat. Exactly, tourist. Outside my door right now. They just say knock, knock all hours of the day. Uh, anyway, continuing the trivia. The use of the use of stan as a verb meaning to be an obsessive fan dates to a 2000 hit song by what rapper? Where's Jada? I don't know, Jordan. I guess not here today. Jordan didn't show up today. Hmm. <sighs> and yes. Eminem. It is Eminem. All right, enough of that one. Uh, enough of the memes. Any other categories? Any suggestions for categories? I don't think anyone wins. No one wins memes trailer. 18 plus, no, we're not doing 18 plus trivia. Geography? Why? Ghibli? I think we've done that one before. Plants of Nature?
movie quotes. Yeah, I guess maybe movie quotes would be good. Movie quotes might actually be a fun one. All right, so movie quotes. Uh, all right, so the the year the movie was uh, so the name. Uh, all right, so yeah, the year the movie is released, then the quote, and. Uh, the name of the character who said the quote, sometimes. Oh no, screw that one. So yeah, 1984 movie. So yeah, 1984 film. You can't really dust for vomit. Nineteen eighty four movie, the quote is you can't really dust for vomit. As spoken by a character Nigel Tufnell. Oh, okay, here are the cat here are the uh all right, so here are the options. Almost famous, the doors, this is spinal tap, or the banger sisters. So the options are Almost Famous, The Doors, This Is Final Tap, or The Banger Sisters. And yes, This Is Final Tap, yeah. Uh, 1939 movie. As God is my witness, I'll never be hungry again. I feel like I shouldn't need to give the, uh, the options here. Yeah, that is a famous enough quote from a famous enough movie. Harlot O'Hara. Hey, Brooke. And yes. Gone with the wind. Gone with the weasels, yes. Hey, Ant. Uh, 1988 film. Don't eat the green ones. They're not quite ripe. Character is Otto West. Played by Kevin Klein. Options are Confidence, Ocean's Eleven, The Big Caper, A Fish Called Wanda. For me, in this one, the quote is not one that gives it away for me. The character, the name of the character is what let me know what this one is. Otto West, played by Kevin Klein. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, that one was a fish called Wanda. Love that movie so much. I haven't actually watched that. I haven't actually watched all of it myself yet. I should watch it at some point. 1975 film. I'm going to be very disappointed in anyone who doesn't get it. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt like elderberries. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelt like elderberries. Hey, Squishy. Like I said, I will be very disappointed in anyone who does not know that one. No idea. Will I be watching Secret Innovation? Nope. Answer is Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The French Knight. Congratulations, Fart. Uh, 2003 movie. Certainty of death. Small chance of success. What are we waiting for? Spoken by Gimli. Yeah, it's a quote from Gimli. Certainty of death. Small chance of success. What are we waiting for? Basically, which of the Lord of the Rings movies is that from? Return of the Weasel, the one with the elves. See, so in which Lord of the Rings movies did Gimli say, certainty of death, small chance of success? What are we waiting for? That I got a fish called Wanda right. Yep. Anyway, it is Return of the King. 1987 film. The quiz doesn't actually give uh, options for this one. You just have to know it. See, a 1987 film. Never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> Spoken by the character Vizzini, played by the wonderful Wallace Shawn. Princess Weasel. One where they go to the volcano or, or whatever. Indeed, Vanna, yes. That is correct, Vanna. The one where they go to a volcano. <laughs> Lord of the Rings movies with friends uh, titles. Lord of the Rings. The one where they go to a volcano or whatever. And yes, Ange. The Princess Bride! One of the most quotable movies ever. Like, that is an incredibly quotable movie.
Anybody want a peanut? I don't know what that's from. Uh, 1995 movie. This one should be pretty quick to get, actually. It's a 1995 movie. Roger that, Ken. Are the flowers blooming in Houston? That's a negative, Jim. I do not have the measles. Princess Weasel quote. The options are Lost Moon, Apollo 13, The Right Stuff, or Apollo 11. Roger that, Ken. Are the flowers blooming in Houston? That's a negative, Jim. I do not have the measles. Saw Tom Hanks at NASA preparing for that movie. Neat. It's not Armageddon, though. It is Apollo 13. Yeah, this is one that I have never, I've never even heard of this movie. Genuinely, I've never even heard of this movie. Oh, uh, no more rhyming now I mean it. Anybody want to keep? Okay, I don't, I forgot, I forgot that one, uh, Ange, I forgot that part. I forgot about that one. Nineteen eighty five. The line is Be careful out there among those English. It is spoken by Eli Lapp. Options witness for the prosecution, witness, mute witness, witness protection. Hey, you know what I mean? I had uh Pilos for dinner. Chicken au gratin. Witness. Uh, you got it right, Ange. Witness, which I've never heard of. Uh, take it. Uh, no, my mom and I went. Uh, my mom and I went out. We ate. Uh, we ate at the restaurant. Love the eighties. Well, here's a 1977 movie. And this line is from a movie in 1977. Traveling through hyperspace ain't like dusting crops, boy. Can I use the facilities? Because being pregnant makes me pee like sea biscuit. As air quality in Cornwall. Uh, I think decent right now but yeah not great the uh, overall new weasel uh, anyway yeah the answer is uh, star wars Hey, Regina. Yeah, and it's, uh, I don't have much reason to go outside. And, uh, I don't, uh, don't have any reason. I don't really look at that. I don't even, 
because I'm in the office, because I don't have the bed, because I don't have a window right next to me, I never even really get to look out, uh, look out the window. So, Juno. Eh. Anyway, final movie quote. 2000 movie. Move, uh, the movie came out in 2000. Do they teach beauty queens how to apologize? Because you suck at it. Options are Mary Riley, I Love Trouble, Confession of a Dangerous Mind, or Aaron Brockovich. Hey, Oregon. Do they teach beauty queens how to apologize? Because you suck at it. Mary Riley, I Love Trouble, Confession of a Dangerous Mind, or Aaron Brockovich. I'm okay, Regina. Like, I'm fine. I'm not sick or anything. I'm not sick. Did you think I'm sick? And uh, you were correct, uh, Aaron, or uh, Ange. You were correct, uh, Ange. Aaron Brockovich. All right, do you have a pizza? Um, I don't know, it's somewhere local. I'm not sure which uh, restaurant has my favorite. Feed me Seymour. Feed me Seymour. Just a mean green mother from outer space. Head to France in two days. Huh. Have fun in uh, have fun in France. Enjoy France. Thoughts on the Iron Sheik passing away? Uh, it's tragic. Because um, now who's going to remind Hulk Hogan that he's a jabroni? Right? Like, Iron, like Iron Sheik was just, like, just hilarious on Twitter in general. What happened to him? I mean, he just passed away. But, like, Iron Sheik was just always great on Twitter. But his enduring hatred of Hulk Hogan was maybe the best. Old, I think old, though. I think he was just, you know, up in age, up there in age, and yeah. I'm trying to think who was the best wrestlers in the 80s. I mean, Hulk Hogan was sort of the biggest... Um, not necessarily the best, but the most popular. He was... Hogan himself was kind of clumsy, I think. Good night, Ange. Mr. T. Uh, not a wrestler. I think he might have, like... I feel like he might have been part of it. Hogan started to talk back the show. Yeah, he was, um, 
he was a good entertainer. Like he had Hogan had some good mic skills for the day. Um didn't Piper do a blackface deal? Uh I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, I watched the Austin Powers movies. Hey, J Dot. I'm gonna be getting off soon, J Dot. You came like right near the end. Yeah, so I mean, like 80s wrestlers, Hogan was sort of the biggest uh, in large part because he did have. He was fairly charismatic. As a wrestler, he was not terrible, but he was fairly, as I recall, he was fairly middling. Oh, shit. Shit, J Dot. I'm sorry to hear that, Jay Dot. That sucks. Bad kidney. Hmm. I imagine she's probably up there in age, so. Body breaks down. Games in the nineties, guy with the mask, computer game. I mean guy with the mask. Nineties game where a dude wears a mask. That doesn't really narrow it down. Yeah, for other great eighties wrestlers, I mean there was you know, Macho Man, Mr. Perfect. Um, was it Jimmy Snuka? Butts and Bison from Street Fighter. He has a tendency to be pretty cheap, I think. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Happy birthday to your brother, J Dot. I think Jenna's birthday is tomorrow. The loop two doors, yep. Throwing a party for Jen? No, I'm just going to be doing a uh, my regular gaming stream, my hour life stream. Can I smile? No. Back at Regina. Jack Black made a movie. Yeah, though he called it not Joe Libre. I mean, I can smile, Regina. Go from the hot tub. Get out now. Yeah, Cindy, I, like, ignore the drama. Like, just honestly, don't wade into the drama. Like, don't, like, just fucking ignore that shit. Ignore all of them. Like, my best friend, whose channel I spun this off from, is sort of like the center of a lot of the drama. And I still just ignore it all. I don't want to hear that. Like, I don't want to hear about it. Like, I don't want to hear about any of that shit. It's just fucking, it's just so goddamn tedious. I don't get the point. I don't understand the point of it all.
on your recommended. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I guess I don't get the point of like spending hours and hours every day talking about someone you don't like and who ultimately doesn't matter. Like, I can understand, like, if it's somebody, like, you know, if it's, you know, spending hours and hours a day talking about politics, you know, like, you know, I can understand spending hours every day talking about po politics that you don't like, because that shit matters. But some random jackass on YouTube? Who fucking cares? Yeah, she's still my best friend, Regina. She'll always be. Like, I'd, you know, I've known her for 20 years. But it's just, it's so stupid. Why, is, why are you spending hours a day talking about a random jackass on on YouTube. I say that as somebody who like cares about her. She's just a random jackass on YouTube. She doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. It does. It's so why the why the obsession? I just I cannot wrap my head around that level of obsession over somebody who genuinely doesn't matter. She goes off on everybody. I mean, yeah, and it's like, I wish she wouldn't. Like, I wish that she would ignore it all. I mean, it's hard just because, I mean, like, I've got the right personality to ignore people talking shit about me. You know, like, years and years of deep self-esteem issues have led to me thinking far worse about myself than anyone could ever say about me. She, she mostly hates it, hates the drama. Like she does hate the drama, but she can't seem to get what is it? Like she cares about what people think of her. Like, she does care what people think about her. She wants to be, she does want to be liked, which means that it's hard for her to ignore the drama. Um, I don't care about being liked, so it's easy for me to ignore people talking shit about me. And like I said, like, I've spent most of my life thinking way worse things about myself than anyone else could ever say about me. So, you know, somebody calls me trash and like, <sighs> that, that all you got? Just deals with it. it does. And I mean, that's the, that's the hard part. You know, it's like, it's hard for her to ignore it because she does care what people think about her. So it's hard to, her to ignore it. But the fact that she responds to it just feels it. And it just makes us, and it, you know, it created a cycle that she just can't really get out of. And it sucks. I wish, you know, I, you know, I did try. 
I did try to talk her out of it constantly, but it's just the kind of person she is. It's hard for her to, it's hard for her to let, to let shit talk go. I think that's what it is. It's hard for her to let to let go of people talking about her. For me, it's easy. I don't care. I don't care what people say about me. I don't want to hear what people say about me. I don't it's just, it makes no difference to me. Um, but that's just the kind of person I am. And I don't think she really changed too much. I don't know, though. Do you need to tighten the reaction policies? They probably should, frankly. It would be nice if YouTube could tighten their policies on sort of hateful content. The issue, though, um, one of the problems with it Stop allowing people to replay other people's content. That would probably be the way to go. That would be the way to do it. Even that's kind of tricky. The real issue, though, any moderation policies that YouTube to, to, uh, puts into place will be used primarily by bad actors to target minority content. Do we get that? Nah, I can't really. I, I can't have a cat right now, Jordan. It's just not an option for me. Yeah, traditionally speaking, anytime that YouTube has, anytime that any social media platform has ever put into place stricter moderation policies, it's always used to, it's always used by bad actors to target marginalized communities. Listen, I miss Sam too. Whatever copyrighted channel, nah, whatever, I don't think it's. Nobody's talking about me. You know, like the number of times that I've gotten a notification about, you know, being tagged in a video or something like that, it's it's just, it's rare. It's nobody talks about me. I'm not interesting enough. Nobody wants to do, nobody wants to do reaction videos of some loser talking about Star Trek. And being a loser talking about Star Trek is my, what I have been all my life. I'm glad they don't, I don't care. I know that, I mean, I... I'm glad they don't, I don't care. I know that, I mean, I, yeah, I've got, a, you know, two or three, I've got two or three dozen people who, uh, you know, consistently enjoy watching me. Um, other than that, yeah. Anyway, I am going to get going for now. Maybe it's not something we're correct. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to. I would never do that.
I would never sell her out no matter what. Like it's, it's one of those things, like even if, even if the delusions that her haters come up with of her selling me out, uh, her cutting me off and cutting me out and blah, blah, blah. Like even if all that should happen, even if she did, you know, come out against me and whatever, no, I would, I would still never do that. I'm going to really me too. doesn't matter. I'd still not. I it still wouldn't happen. Like, I still wouldn't do that. But I sell you out. I'd sell you out for a bag of peanuts, fart. And I don't even particularly care much about peanuts. Rare weasel. Thanks, Jordan. I'm kidding, fart. How much would I sell for? Used Kleenex. I'm joking. I wouldn't sell any of you out. But I sell you on the corner. <laughs> Appreciate your loyalty. Yep. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to get going. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow for uh, for more of our life, beginnings and always. Yeah, I think. Just one more. One more, two more of the Baxter things. I don't remember now. It might just be one more. Or it might be two. I don't remember. What about Rose? I know. I should get back to that. I'll try to get back to that one soon, Jordan. I do kind of, I want to finish up our life before I finish up uh, that don't take it personally. So it'll be a few more weeks. It'll probably be a few more weeks for uh, for getting back to don't take it personally. Because I do want to finish up uh, that what's it. I do want to finish up our life first. Because I've been doing it for so long. I don't know. It has this. Our life tomorrow and then next week. Next Thursday. I'll uh, get back to uh, Don't Take It Personally for... I'll do... Uh, see, I'll do, like, another episode of Our Life Tomorrow... And then I'll do an uh, an episode of uh, Don't Take It Personally next week. And then after that, I'll get back to, I'll finish up our life. Anyway. Um, so hopefully see you all tomorrow. But uh, for now, good night. <laughs>